Hello there and welcome. In this episode we continue working on our RTS game. In the previous episode we created the fog of war, so now when we run the game we have our entire map covered with this black fog and only when we build buildings or walk around using our units this area will be revealed. So this is a very common feature in any RTS game. In this episode we want to add another very common feature and this will be the mini map. So we want to have a small map here on the UI that will show our position or basically the entire map or the parts that were revealed on the map and this will give the player a better understanding of the position of different bases or different resources and also we are going to have the option to click on different parts of the map so the camera will move to these parts so the player don't have to scroll so much to reach this area. So to do this we first need to create a camera that will basically be positioned on the top of the map and it will look down and capture the entire area. So for this we're going to create some kind of mini map manager and inside we're going to create a camera. We're going to name it mini map camera. So at this point this is what the camera sees but we want to change the Y rotation or actually the X rotation and now it will basically look from top down and we also want to move it so it will capture the entire terrain. But for this we need to do a few more changes. First of all we want to change the camera projection to be orthographic because this will be more suitable and we also want to increase the size so it will capture the entire map. Now, as you know, our terrain is very big and we're not actually using the entire terrain, right? If we run the game and we move to the scene tab, we can see that only this part over here is covered by the fog because the fog manager says that we're only using 100 units. So all of this terrain is not even used for our map. Obviously you can have bigger maps and smaller maps, but we are only covering 100 units of terrain. So let's first go to our terrain and go to settings and we're going to reduce the size of the terrain to be 100 units so it will match our fog of war. Now again, if you have bigger maps, you can have a bigger terrain. But now our terrain will be smaller and it will match perfectly with the fog of war. So now if we want to zoom out using our minimap we can actually cover the entire area but we still need to move it around and again this is not the actual projection of the map. We are going to see it when we create it on the UI. So for now let's just keep it this way. To be able to output the camera to the UI we need to create a render texture. So we're going to create a render texture and we're going to name it minimap, minimap render. And all we need to do is drag it into our minimap camera to the output. Over here we can see render texture, so we're going to drag it here. And now this render texture will be the output of our minimap camera. And to be able to transfer this into the UI, we're going to expand our UI, our side panel. And here we're going to create a UI raw image. The thing about the raw image is that it can take a texture and we are going to drag our render texture into the texture. So let's just position it in this slot over here. Obviously we can use anchors. I'm just going to move it and I'm going to position it so it will cover this area, okay? And now we can also rename this to minimap and we're going to drag our render texture into this raw image and now the map will be outputted to this area. Now again, we can make it smaller 
you can play around with this so it will match perfectly see well anyway most of it will be black but you can also make the background of your ui black so you won't see any differences now obviously it's not covering the entire terrain so we need to play around with this we need to go to our minimap camera and we're going to set the size to 50 because that's a perfect size for 100 by 100 terrain but we still have a few margins here so we're going to play around with the position and we're going to basically center it and also center it here so maybe 22 and 15 okay now you can see that if i zoom out we are covering the entire terrain so we want to make it perfect like this so 50 is a good value Obviously, if you're going to have a bigger terrain, then the zoom should be even bigger, okay? But a 50 size for this kind of map is enough. And you also need to play with the position so everything will be centered. Now that we have this centered, we can actually run it and see how it looks. So we can see that this is our revealed area, the starting area, and we can also see it on the map. Now we have this small issue that we see the different gold nodes on the minimap. And that's just because our minimap camera is rendering all the different layers. You can keep the node one, but the default node, you don't want it to be selected. And now when we run the game, you can see that the gold nodes are not rendered. Now, if this is going to be a problem later, for example, maybe our buildings or... No, our buildings should be uh, the construction layer, our units should be on another layer. If the camera eventually won't render buildings or any other things, just make sure that you add the layer to the calling mask so it will actually render it and you don't want it to be on the default layer. Otherwise, you also need to change your gold nodes so they will not be rendered here. But this is only for the minimap, right? We can't see the gold nodes in our regular view because they're underneath the fog of war. Now, the biggest issue we're going to have with these changes is if we run the game, we are going to see that our starting point is over here at the bottom on the left but this is not the exact location because if we scroll around we can see that the border is over here and the corner of the map is over here and that's just because our actual camera is capturing the scene with a certain rotation so it will be very confusing to the player to see the map like this but then when he moves around he sees that the map is rotated right because the camera controller is rotated 45 degrees and if we go over here it's basically rendering the map like this and this is just something we created in the beginning because we wanted to have this rts -y look now there are two fixes to this the first one will be to go into the minimap and basically just rotate the minimap and fit the camera controller. So also 45 degrees and then we can zoom out a bit. And now we're going to see the minimap the same way we have our actual map rendered. You can also change the color of the background. You simply go to the minimap and you change the environment to solid color and you change it to black or something. And now if we run the game, this will fit our actual map. So we are here and the map will be in this diamond shape. Now if we build a building and we walk around, we can see that we are on the right side. Construction complete. We can also build a unit. Training. Unit ready. Awaiting orders. Agreed. Of course. 
Agreed. Of course. Of course. Right, and some RTS games are doing it this Agreed. way. As you wish. But if you don't like this idea of the map being rotated, and also it makes the map a bit smaller, right? Because the zoom is higher, then you can simply go back to what we had before and change the actual rotation of our main camera. Now this will involve doing some adjustments because our prefabs are pointing to a different direction. So you need to decide what is more important for you to keep the minimap like this or you don't mind changing it to a diamond shape. If you do want it to be like this, you simply go to the camera controller and we're going to disable this 45 degrees rotation. But now the camera will point to a different location. So we need to play a bit with the positioning and bring it back to our terrain. Okay, so here, maybe something like 30 and it was at the bottom, so something like negative 250. Now again, you may need to play around with these values. So now when we run the game, it will point at this location. And now, as I told you, the prefabs are still pointing to the other way. So if we try to build any building, it will look a bit weird. Construction complete. Right, because before our main camera was rotated, it's hard to demonstrate, but it was rotated to this direction. So all of our prefabs are not going to look the way they used to look. So to fix this, we simply need to go to our prefabs and change the rotation to 45 degrees. Let me just confirm 45, actually negative 45. Okay, and this will not change anything inside. It will not change the box colliders. It will not change the UI. It will just change the entire rotation of this prefab. So then you can do the same with the power plant, although the power plant actually looks pretty much the same from all sides. So you can keep it this way. But for the supply center, same, you can go negative 45 and it will keep all the other things inside. The supply drop will still be here and the different box colliders will still be here. Okay, so you simply change the rotation of the main object. And now when we run the game. Building. The prefabs will be instantiated with this rotation. So now it looks the way it was before, but our main camera is no longer pointing with a rotation. Before it was like this, but now it's going to be like this. And it means that our minimap will fit the actual terrain. So we can also go unit ready. Reporting. with our unit, we can move, Agreed. and we can see that the bottom is straight and the corner, the bottom left corner As is actually at the bottom left. Agreed. So I think this is a bit more intuitive for the player, but it really depends on you and on your game. Now that we have all of this, we also want to be able to click on our minimap and move to the position we clicked. For this, I'm going to provide a script. Okay, so simply go into the link I'm going to provide, copy everything inside and paste it inside of a script, of a new script. I already have this created, okay? At first, you're going to have an issue because we are referencing the RTS camera controller and we're using a method that we still did not create. So you're going to have this issue, okay? So we're going to open our RTS camera controller and we're going to add this method inside. We're going to name it 
public void set position from minimap. You can also delete it, go back here, and then generate method. And now it's going to generate this method over here, but we still need to fill it up. So we're going to change this. New position, new vector three, world point, So we're just moving our main camera to the position that we are providing over here. So it's a very simple method, but now we can detect the click, right? We're detecting the click on the minimap camera and we are doing some calculations to basically convert the location we clicked on in this small map on the UI And then it will see, okay, we clicked here, so the camera should go to this point on the terrain. So we basically create some kind of mapping from this raw image to our actual terrain. So that's what we're doing here. And then we're moving our camera to this final position. Now we also want to control the offsets because sometimes the offsets will not be correct. I added some default offset values, but maybe it's not going to be the same for you because for example, you're going to change the size of the map or something else. So let's see at first how it works. First of all, let's add this script to our mini map. So it should be this raw image. We're going to drag our mini map script and we also need to reference the camera, the minimap camera. And now let's see if we click on this area over here, it's going to move. If we click back on this exposed area, it goes back to this exposed area. Now you can see that it's not perfectly moving to the direction. I'm clicking on the right side of the exposed area, but for some reason it moves over here. So we simply need to change the offset. We're going to set it to 10. Maybe more, maybe negative five. Maybe even something like this. No, this was too much. We need to set the Z value a bit lower. Okay, so now we're clicking exactly in the middle and it brings us here. Now, if we click over here, it will bring us here. We can also construct something and place it here. Obviously in the final game, we won't be able to just build things far away, but if we click here, we go here. And if we click here, we move back here. You can also see that the camera takes some time, so it's not instantaneous, but it has this nice feel. So that's all for this episode. We created our minimap. And in the next episode, we're going to continue with other things. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're still not a subscriber. And see you next time.